This is the greatest witch hunt. From Georgia election interference to hush money payments, here's a look at the four criminal probes looming over former President Donald Trump. Justice, we did nothing wrong, I did nothing wrong. When Trump was indicted by the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, he became the first sitting or former U.S. president to face criminal charges. That case involves a 2016 hush money payment to porn star Stormy Daniels. Trump has said he's innocent. In Washington, special counsel Jack Smith brought charges against the former president, saying that he conspired to defraud the United States by preventing Congress from certifying Joe Biden's 2020 election victory. An indictment was unsealed, charging Donald J. Trump with conspiring to defraud the United States, conspiring to disenfranchise voters, and conspiring and attempting to obstruct an official proceeding. Trump is accused of exploiting the attack on the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021, by refusing to direct his supporters to withdraw. Trump pleaded not guilty to the charges. Also under investigation is whether or not Trump improperly retained classified records at his Florida estate after he left office. In August 2022, the FBI seized 13,000 documents from his Mar-a-Lago estate in a court-approved search. About 100 of them were marked classified. Some were designated top secret, the highest level of classification. That case is also being overseen by Jack Smith. Trump faces charges that include violations of the Espionage Act, which criminalizes unauthorized possession of defense information. Trump accuses the Justice Department of engaging in a partisan witch hunt. I had every right to have these documents. And in August, oh, Trump was hit with a fourth set of criminal charges when a Georgia grand jury indicted him following an investigation by Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis. The investigation looks into Trump's alleged efforts to overturn his 2020 election loss in Georgia. Trump and 18 of his allies were charged with racketeering, an anti-mafia law used to target members of organized crime groups and carries a penalty of up to 20 years in prison. I really believe this is a very sad day for America. This should never happen. If you challenge an election, you should be able to challenge an election. I thought the election was a rigged election, a stolen election.